you know, they're in control of that person. And for a woman, that's one, that's an ultimate, that's one of the ultimate worst experiences that they can have. So, uh, for a man to do this, of course, to a female, it, it's all about power. And it's, uh, you know, Dr. Bond reminds us, however, that it's important to remember that regardless of the specific motive, serial killers are compelled to commit murder. That is, they do it because they want to and they need to. There's a compulsion there. There's a compulsion. And it depends on what that motivation is, which, of course, we've talked about uh, multiple times um, with multiple different uh, serial killers. I mean, we could literally... We could literally do a hundred podcasts just on the motivation of 10 serial killers because it's so vast and skewed. There's just so many things to consider. Um, now, uh, as I mentioned earlier, Dr. Bond has numerous, numerous journal articles that he's released and, and he is considered an expert um, on this subject. So um, I'm going to save a couple of the other journal articles for another another podcast because there's just so much information and it's I mean it's just so interesting that I feel like they each deserve their own podcast. So uh, for today we will wrap this up. Just if you want to read um, some really good material, uh, looking into the mind of serial killers, Scott Bond, B O N N. Um, is a great source. Uh, you can literally just Google Scott Bond um, or Dr. Scott Bond, serial killer, and most of his work will pop up. And it's, I haven't found any that you have to actually pay for. You know, there are some journal articles you have to pay to get. These aren't, um, so far, these aren't among those. But um, good, good reading gives you some different insight. Before I go today, I did want to thank, again, thank those um, in Great Britain who have started following my podcast and thank them for my ranking. You know, it's difficult to get rankings, um, especially when you're an, a newer podcast like I am. And uh, it, it's, you know, it's very humbling to think that people, you know, have really, you know, decided to follow my podcast. Um, and I hope that it's because the subject matter is interesting to them and that they are also seeking, you know, a, an answer or some remedy to how children are treated in our world and what we can do as a population, um, to prevent it in the future. So, um, thank you again. And of course, to all of the different, it's amazing how many different countries are uh, in my demographics now and I'm just really humbled by that and thankful that you're listening and I'd love to hear from each and every one of you as always you can always email me at drkimberlycassidy89 at gmail.com and that is all lowercase um, you can also go on my Facebook page composition of a killer uh, my personal web page which is just Kimberly Cassidy um, you can um, you can post anything there as well. You can do a direct message so that it's private, whatever. I mean, I'm, I'm easy to get in touch with. So if you wanted to um, talk or have a conversation, that would be great. Remember that later on today, we'll be releasing a podcast with one of my students, um, Becca, which is really going to be interesting, I think. And uh, she's an early childhood student. So she is completely into the development of young minds and the environmental stressors that can change those minds. So we'll have, I'm sure, have really good conversation about the alphabet killer. As always, have a great day. Don't pick, don't pick up hitchhikers. Please don't be a hitchhiker. Um, and uh, go out and do something good for the world. We need that, don't we? Be someone's ray of light. Have a great day.